Hey, our friends, it's Nate and Sage, and we want to draw a bug with you. Like a, it's a dragonfly. Don't a say dragonfly. All right, art friends, if you want to grab your art supplies, we're going to be drawing a bug today. Because we were walking around in our garden, and, and we were looking for some bugs. Yeah, and we were doing videos of them. And we made some videos of them. And some this bugs we found. is my passion. Because in summertime, well, in other seasons too, it's fun to look for bugs around your garden yeah. or around your house. You, I'm pretty sure you want to draw these patterns on for your stamps. And Sage has also been doing stamps. She, if you can tell on her shirt too, she loves bugs. She's got butterflies on her shirt, huh? Yep. But we want to draw a dragonfly. Yep, instead of butterflies. Instead of a butterfly. So if you grab your art supplies and draw along with us, let's see what we can draw. Okay, you ready? Or are you yep. gonna draw on that paper? Okay, so when I draw, I like to start kind of light with a pencil. Okay. We're, gonna use, use we're gonna use this kneaded eraser too. All right, you ready? I just need a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna start with a circle shape. Okay. So can you make a circle shape? For what? For its head? Yeah, for its head. Very good, I like that circle shape. Okay. So now that you have a circle shape, there's going to be kind of an, another shape behind it, like this. Kind of a little bump on the circle. What do you think that's going to be? It's ear. Good guess. It's going to be its back. Okay. What? What? Okay, and then it has a long tail, huh? So you're going to draw like a long stick coming off of it. Okay. Stick! This is the longer one. And this looking, is a baby. Yeah, and looking at dragonflies, they kind of have a little bulb, or a little bulb, or a little round part on the end. So go ahead and add a little round part to the end of your tail. That's looking great. My baby has a long tail. Yeah? Her name is Sky. Sky the dragonfly. That even rhymes, that's beautiful. Sky the dragonfly. Okay, how many wings do dragonflies have? Have you ever looked? They have four wings. Should we draw some wings? Yeah. Now, dragonfly wings, lots of bugs have different shaped wings. Dragonfly wings are long and skinny like this. So we're gonna draw some dragonfly wings like this. So there's one and two. So it has two that go side to side, and they're on its back. Are you drawing your own kind? Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to draw some dragonfly wings on this side of our dragonfly. It's going to have some on both sides. I like your dragonfly wings, Sage. It's a baby. Yeah. Yours would be like if you were looking at a dragonfly from above, huh? Okay. She's and gonna... Dragonflies, do they have little eyes or big eyes? This is a special one. That's a special wing. I love that. That is beautiful. With some spirals. Okay, do dragonflies have big eyes or little eyes? They have really big eyes. If you've ever seen them up close. So let's add an eye. So I'm gonna draw an eye on mine. I'm gonna make it big. So it's a circle on my head and it's gonna take up most of the body. Mine is a baby eyes. Should we start adding some ink? I think we should. If we get going too far, um, it's gonna be hard to see. Okay, so when you're using ink, which could be a pen, it could be a marker, we're gonna start with the I things. I want really one of my first. I really oh, I put one right here. Oh, you wanna use like a regular marker? instead of this pen? Yeah. Like okay. the ones down here. Okay. Let's get you a marker. No. Not like this kind? The little ones. Oh. I don't know what one you mean. Oh. I 
Okay. Maybe not so you could also use a marker like this. Do do do. These ones work good too. Okay. I'm just gonna do this one. Yeah. Here, let me scoot yours a little bit more forward. This is the same thing. All right. Now I'm gonna start with the closest thing to the viewer or the person looking at my art. I'm gonna start with this eye. The reason why I'm doing that is because ink, it's hard to draw or erase things from under ink. You could use like white out or something like that. Okay, so there's my eye and then my head is gonna be behind it. So I'm just gonna draw this part of my circle. That is looking so good, Sage. All right, and then let's draw the body. The body's gonna go up into this long shape. Okay, but right now it kind of looks like my dragonfly only has one eye. I think you already added another eye right here to yours, huh? Yours has two. I need to add a second eye to mine. Because yours has one eye. Yeah, mine only had one eye. So I need to add that second eye to it. Yeah. Oh, right. I forgot I have big me. Circle wings. And I'm going to add some lines for my circle wings on this one. I'm going to try to push a little bit lighter. So my wings are, they look, because like dragonfly wings, they're kind of see through. Right? These are my circle wings. There, if you wanted to make your wings look like they're moving, you could add some little lines some little vibration lines like that. Dang it, this is my leg. Sometimes dragonflies, they like flutter their wings. Okay, and we need to add some little feet to our dragonfly, huh? So for mine, I'm just gonna add some little lines right here. I need it look like it's holding on to a little spot. Oh. oh. Like that. They have six legs. Is this six my legs? Those, those look good, yeah. You've added some good mine legs. Is I a love baby. the tail. I, mine is a baby. I like that you decided yours was a baby. That's pretty fun. Okay, then the last thing I usually do is I like to go around it's, my outside design. It's grabbing a sock. Just make it a little it's bit. It's a thicker. baby gore, but it's grabbing a sock. But it's grabbing a sock. Yeah, my baby gore. Actually, I made it sound like I'm done. I think the last thing I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna add some details. You could you could do this part, or you don't have to do this See? part. See, she's holding a sock. <gasps> that is a fun idea. She's holding a sock. Yep. Yeah. Or do you think in her you, mouth? Did she steal a sock from somebody? Yeah, she <sighs> is. She's holding it in her uh, mouth. Ooh. Okay. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some details. Do you want to add a sock? Daddy. Because, um. Do I want to add a sock to mine? Yeah, because this is the, um. This is the. The squiggle. The map of the sock. To have the pattern. This one is the. Uh, Water, good. This one is the lizard, good. This one is the sock, good. Okay. So the, um, and then I need to add some antenna. I almost so forgot to add antenna. This one is where the mess comes out of here. These ones is from the mess out of here. This one is where the message comes out of here. And your your antenna, like 
Eyes aren't normally very expressive with bugs because they have different eyes than we do. So you could kind of use your antenna to show what your bug's thinking. If it's happy or if it's sad, you could change the shape of your antenna on your bug to kind of oh, suggest I need a mouth. if your bug is happy or sad. <laughs> I really so you're just gonna add a mouth real quick. Well, well, she adds one. Should we finish up? Yeah. Yeah, you keep drawing and I'll finish this up for us. Anyways, thanks for drawing bugs with us. Um, I hope you're having fun and you're discovering the world around you and you pull art into it because art is a fun way to explore the world. The things, the beautiful things you see around you that you love. Yeah. Do you like, love bugs, Sage? Yep. But every people try to um draw puppets. Yeah, some people try to draw puppets. That's a great point. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun drawing a bug with us. Bugs can be a fun thing to draw together. Because um, there's so many different kinds of bugs. You can add some. These are puppet dragon stars flying in the sky. <laughs> That's a good, that was a good finger puppets you did there. And this is my paper. Do you want to hold your paper up? Yeah, we hope you guys had so much fun drawing. Art is a fun way to explore the world. And bugs, there's a lot of different kinds of bugs. Try drawing different ones. I mean, we drew a dragonfly, but there's so many different kinds of bugs out there. And I hope this inspires you to get out there and draw something yourself. And draw stuff that you see in the world around you. Because um, the world is a pretty beautiful place. And I am glad you are a part of it. So we got a little bit of a bonk, so I'm gonna to have to attend to that. Anyways, go ahead and feel free to subscribe and ring the bell so you can find new fun art projects to do, um, either by yourself or with your loved ones. And uh, yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Have a great week in art. Bye! Oh, she's back! <laughs> she didn't get too badly hurt. Friends, can we get me behind me because I need that thing. Wait, what thing? The thing on your face. Oh, you want to steal the box? I have to get behind you then. Boop. Do you have it now? And there, and they can fly. I'm pretty sure you know that. Yeah. Okay. Do you think I can do it? Yeah. Yeah, you did it. We did it. We did a stamp. Oh, there's a the little paper. Oh, and the little tiny dots. Wow, those are little. Wow. <laughs> Get me that thing. You, you want to steal the focus box? Yeah. Okay, steal the focus box. Do you have it now? Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to say the words. Now you're going to say the words? Okay, mm -hmm. it's up to you. And when... What do we usually say at the end? And... Goodbye at dot com, dot com, blue bomb with markers. <laughs> markers. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. I can steal the focus box. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna switch focus. Oh, you still stole it. Uh oh. <laughs>